Welcome to BTEC Revision. In today's lesson, we will be exploring exponentials and we will be able to calculate values from exponential equations. Exponentials take the form of y is equal to n to the power of x, where n is a constant, y and x are variables. For example, we can take y equals 10 to the power of x, or we can take y is equal to exponential to the power of x, where this exponential, e, is known as Euler's number, which is a very special number, similar to pi, but this is equal to 2.718, etc. We have looked at exponentials in our last lesson, and we can take logs in order to solve exponential equations. For example, if we take ln, or both sides of the equation, we get ln y is equal to ln e to the power of x. Using the law of power, we can bring down the x, and we know ln is log to the base e of the number e, which cancels, and therefore we get x is equal to ln y. There are many examples of exponentials used in engineering, physics, for example, charging a capacitor. Charging a capacitor is given by the equation voltage is equal to initial voltage multiplied by one take away exponential to the power of negative time over resistance times constant. Another example is discharging a capacitor, which is V equals V naught exponential minus T over RC. Looking at the discharging equation, can you try to solve for T using the laws of logarithms that you learned from last lesson. Let's start by dividing both sides by V naught. V divided by V naught is equal to exponential to the power of negative T over RC. Then we can take the natural logs on both sides. That will give us ln, like so. And the next step, we should take the power down using the power rule which would give us negative t over rc times ln to the base e of e, so it cancels out, and therefore we can multiply, multiply both sides by rc and multiply both sides by negative 1, which would give us t is equal to negative rc ln v over v naught. Now try this question. Right, we will use the equation given here. V equals V naught, one take away E to the power of negative T over RC. And we can plug in our values, but we need to know we have a prefix here, milli, which is times 10 to the power of negative three, okay, or 1000. Now we can just plug in our values. To work out the voltage, V naught we know is three volts. So that's bracket one take away E to the power of negative. The time is three seconds. So that's negative three divided by R, which is 10,000 ohms, multiplied by C, which is 0 0.100 times 10 to the power of negative three and plugging these values into the calculator you should get 2.85 volts now let's have a go at question number two looking at the question here it's asking about discharged capacitor and we need to calculate the time so we will take the equation for discharging a capacitor, which is V equals V naught exponential negative T over RC. And the question says to calculate the time. So we need to rearrange for time. So we will take V divided by V naught is equal to exponential minus T of RC. We take the natural logs on both sides, bring the power down, so it's negative t of rc multiplied by ln e 
which cancels out. And therefore, we can rearrange now to give us T is equal to negative RC ln V over V naught. Then we can plug in our values here. Now, we need to know that we have a few more prefixes here. So we have K, which stands for a kilo, which is a thousand. So we can take resistance to be equal to 10,000 ohms. For capacitance, we have a prefix called micro. So capacitance is equal to 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 farads. All the other units seem fine for voltage, uh, initial and final voltage. So we can just plug in our values for time. So we have negative 10,000 multiplied by capacitance of 50 times 10 to the negative 6 multiplied by ln V, which is 5, divided by V naught, which is 10. Plugging this into the calculator, we get a value of 0 0.347 seconds, which is a fraction of a second. And this seems like a good value because capacitors discharge very, very quickly. Now pause the video here and attempt this exam question. Start by taking one hour and converting that into the correct unit of seconds, which is 3600 seconds. Then we'll take the equation n equals n naught a to the power of t. We'll divide both sides by n naught to give us n divided by n naught is equal to a to the power of t. And we can take any logs. We don't have to take natural log because there's no exponential. Um, we'll take the log to the base 10 on both sides. So we can bring that power down, which is equal to t log a. Then the next step will divide both sides by t to give us 1 over t log n over n naught is equal to log a. Then we can plug in our values. We know what the time is, uh, 3600 seconds. Multiplied by log n is going to be the number of bacteria currently, which is 10,000, divided by the initial sample of 100. This gives us a value of 1 over 1800. Now we know this is equal to log A, which has a base 10. Therefore, we can convert this and gives us 10 to the power of 1 over 1800 is equal to A. Using the calculator, this gives us a value of A is equal to 1.00. One three. For question B, it's asking for the time taken, so we need to rearrange the equation for time. So we have already started to rearrange it here. So we can just take log n over n naught is equal to t log n, and we can divide both sides by log a. That will give us t is equal to log n over n naught divided by log a. Now we can just plug in our values, which gives us log n. So that's 10,000 divided by the initial value of 1,000 divided by log a which is our value of 1.0013. And this gives us a value of 1,800 seconds. And that's the end of the lesson. If you would like to try some quiz questions, and there's lots more resources available, why don't you go over to btechrevision.com.